So tonight I'm going to show you a variation on a recipe. It's actually the recipe that's on the cover of our cookbook, which is this uh, miso glazed scallop. Um, you can see all the colour that the scallop takes, and that's from the sugars that are broken down by the uh, the koji in the miso, um, which makes it means it caramelises up really easily. Uh, this is a, uh, a f fermented red cabbage. This is my big stock jar of fermented red cabbage. I mean, I, I made this last year. That keeps for ages. Um, and it's in a nice miso broth. The miso broth we're making over here. Um, I've got a bunch of vegetables, kind of typical Mediterranean vegetables, uh, aubergine, red pepper, and courgette with some spring onions, some chi uh, put some chili in there. Uh, that was marinating overnight in a kind of koji solution. Um, that's, uh, that's now draining. I'm gonna sear that in this pan. Um, here we also have um, some, this was frozen cod, so the reason we're changing this recipe is to make it with things you can easily find, have, and how you can make them into something really tasty. Uh, miso is quite quite easy to find these days in uh, supermarkets. I, I made my own, uh, which is like a butter, I made it with butternut. You can make it with any kind of bean pulse you like, um, but this is a butternut miso that I made myself. If you go ahead and buy a miso, um, I made a video a bit earlier, which I'll clip on the start of this video uh, where you uh, you select that down a little bit and marinate your your frozen cod your frozen fish whatever white white fish really I'd recommend a white fish over something like salmon or trout but you can just marinate that in your miso for a little while but I've had this in there for about 12 hours and the miso and I, I put some of our shio koji in there you don't necessarily need to do that step um, but that will uh, that will just start like working into that cod and marinating it and bringing out all these like nice flavors which is like kind of a umami that you have in uh, in Asian cooking. And all we're gonna do now, um, so this is where the vegetables were marinating. I'm gonna grill my vegetables in this pan, um, just like sear them or hot, uh, fry them hot, um, give them a nice bit of color, uh, work through them, keep them all to the side, and at the end, we're gonna take this leftover marinade, this leftover fish marinade, and we're gonna put those together, and those nice like fishy vegetable flavors are gonna go in and kind of make a stock. Um, here I've just got a bit of ginger, a few garlic cloves and a bit of chopped uh, yellow onion and I'm going to sizzle that in the pan um, before we put these last two stocks in um, and uh, that'll make your, uh, that'll make your, uh, that'll, that'll make your cod in um, miso broth with grilled Mediterranean vegetables. To, to grill your vegetables, um, Got a pan, a hot pan here with uh, just vegetable, vegetable oil and um, sesame in about 50-50. And just take your your marinated veg that we had overnight in um, in our miso. Uh, this is actually uh, the, the vegetable element here, the grilled vegetables. I got this idea from a friend of mine, Laura Burt, who has a catering company up in um, Scotland called Turn Up the Beat. And I now absolutely love miso glazed veg. I don't, I've done it before with seafood and meats and things, but um, same thing with vegetables, it just adds a really, really nice flavour. So just put them all into a hot pan. I wouldn't even necessarily season them, not salt, because miso tends to have a fair amount of salt. Um, maybe a little bit of pepper, but I've got chilli in here already, so I've, I might put a little pinch of chilli on there, a bit, a little pinch of black pepper on there, um, but I'm not going to go overboard. There's already lots of flavour and decent seasoning in the miso itself. Um, just give them a good bit of colour on each side. And once they're done, transfer them into a tin or pan or something on, on the side. And work through them all without crowding the pan until everything's got a nice colour and nicely cooked through. At this point, they've all, all, all our veg got a nice colour. Um, the, the aubergine's cooked through, this one might need a little bit longer, but yeah, make sure you get your aubergine through. Nice colour on both sides, uh, don't necessarily take it too far. And then just pull these out, put them in a pan to your side, and save them for, for the next step. Things like courgettes, you can leave a bit, of, uh, leave a bit more crunchy. The fan aubergine you want to cook right out. And things like red peppers, you want to watch they don't burn, because they can quite easily burn fast than the rest. So what's in your pan? Just cut those out the edges, and then I'm going to pull the aubergine back in the middle. And yeah, just carry on like this. 
Next up, um, so our veg is all nicely kind of grilled and coloured and put to the side. Now uh, we haven't like, it's still got a nice colour, it hasn't uh, been taken too far. That's just going to sit there for the moment. Uh, we've got our cod fillets, and I said before these are just frozen cod fillets. We're trying to do things um, simply, eat it at home. Um, we did the same with our, our homemade um, fish and chips, it was just frozen cod. And now we're going to pop these over here. Underneath this bowl is uh, we're, we're catching all the liquid because it's going to be our broth that we're going to uh, eat, eat or eat with our vegetables. Um, next step, we're just going to start making the we're going to start preparing the broth. We're we're, we're almost there. Really. It's a, a few minutes now to do the the final stages. Our pan here is uh, warm. It's on a medium heat. I've got some um, like half a yellow onion, a good amount of ginger, a good amount of garlic. Pop that in there. Give that a little sizzle. Smells, smells amazing. I love the smell of garlic and uh, ginger as soon as it hits the pan. Uh, next thing I'm going to do, we're going to warm up our pan for our cod. Excuse the beef in. It's going to be about uh, medium high, number seven on my induction. Um, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to cook up a good knob of butter. We're going to cook our cod in a burn one's zest, uh, like we did with our omelet video, if anyone saw our omelet video. We're going to get this, this butter sizzling, wait for it to start to brown a little, or, although it will brown as the cod cooks. Um, and if we need to stop it browning at any point, we're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, and that will um, that'll kind of fry the butter within an oil and that will stop it from burning uh, we're going too far. So I'm just going to bring this to a sizzle, uh, soften, I'm going to soften our garlic, onion and uh, ginger and once it's nicely softened I'm going to add these two liquids in. So this is the cod marinade so that I have a nice sort of fish juice in it. There's going to be a kind of light fish stock with miso in. Uh, in here we've got the vegetable marinade so it's a miso with kind of vegetable kind of flavour to it. So we're going to get this nice uh, wholesome fish and vegetable stock to have as our broth. Now that our butter is nicely sizzled away, um, it will take a, a minute longer. It's starting to brown in places, but the thing is we're going to be cooking our cod for a couple of minutes. So we don't necessarily want to take it all the way to burn one's that before we put our cod in. We're going to put our cod in now. It's going to sizzle up and immediately you can see things starting to brown around it. So it that good colour. I've got my oven on, so we're going to give this really good colour on each side, and then we're going to just like finish it for five minutes in the oven at about 160. Just not a super super hot oven, but just to keep the heat in the pan without burning the butter and allow the cod to cook through to the centre. Cod's on, um, taking colour. Put um, a minute more. The garlic, ginger, onion is taking some uh, softened nicely. So we're now going to go in there with our two marinade. The fish marinade. That's the vegetable, vegetable marinade. I'm just going to let that warm gently. Put on medium heat. Just going to let that come up to heat. And by the time that's up to heat, this should be ready for the oven. Then we need to keep this warm. I'm going to pop the vegetables in the oven as well. And then everything will just warm through nicely and we can serve it all at once. So I've burned our zets, going nicely now, taking nice colour. And you're just going to want to lift up your butter and just keep it going on your cod. A nice coat. It's going to look really, really lovely. It's it's a combination of the butter and the fish juice that kind of comes out the cod and it just makes this lovely marinade that you can just put back in the fish. Just keep doing that. But just do that a couple of times, it's kind of where it needs to be. And you know, just to return this, it's now ready to turn the oven and it's just, you know, five minutes, that'll be done. The next uh, step we need to do, just to finish our plate, I've got my home uh, my fermented red cabbage. I added some spices to make it a little bit kind of a crossover from sauerkraut to uh, kimchi 
uh, but it's neither one nor the other. Uh, and then just get that hot. That's on there. And that'll go in the oven. Um, so we're ready now. We've got our, our cod's been in five minutes. Uh, everything's just warmed up a little bit. Um, we've got our broth here. It's going to take a spoon of broth. Put that in the bottom. Then we're going to go in, take a decent bunch of our marinated roasted vegetables. And bottom. Straight in two. Bella and I. And then a pinch of our spiced sauerkraut. So not quite kimchi, however you'd like to call it. And onto that, we're just going to bring over a lovely glazed piece of cod that we've marinated in miso and cooked in burn ones yet. And there you go, that's a uh, that's our miso glazed cod on sautéed spiced sauerkraut with roast vegetables in miso broth.